greet him it takes it out of you you don't want to greet like what's the point someone like me i'll greet you and then you just yeah hello guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl benis and i'm back again with another exciting video okay so today what are we talking about well, um, as most of you know, or those who have watched um, all my previous videos, you know that um, I live in Austria, which is like a country located in Europe. But I came here when I like when I had just turned 15, I'm probably 10, 15. Okay, no, I came here before I turned 15, like a few months before I turned uh, 15. So uh, when I got here, like I was still grown, like I was grown. I mean, I consider myself a grown girl. So I was grown and like I picked up some like habits. I started doing some things, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. Okay, so um, anyone who knew me during my stay or time in Ghana, you know that this is not how I used to talk, yeah? And I mean, it's, I still do sound like, like my normal self. It's just a bit changed when it comes to like my tonations and stuff. And that only happened because when I first came here, like the first year, I sounded just like my old self. I sounded like Ghanaian and everything like that. And the problem was that when I talk, they couldn't understand what I was saying. So every single time in school, when I say something, they're like, could you please repeat yourself? Could you please say it a bit slowly? Could you please like, it was getting annoying because you know, like every single thing with an R in there, like, we just say it like we just say it without actually adding the r but people weren't understanding me it was it was really annoying it was really hard having to like always repeat myself repeat myself like it was annoying so you know like for example let's say like with the word hard like i, I probably have said like hard like before i've said hard but when i say hard like they don't know what i'm trying to say so i had to now start pronouncing like the words the letters in every single thing so for example like hard i don't say hard it's like hard so it was like it, it was i was like oh oh my god this is so annoying so i had to like be conscious of every single thing i was saying and like consciously change the words before i actually pronounce it and the thing is like after doing it for so long then my voice and my, my way of like speaking started to change like it wasn't like so sudden like how most people who go to us and then like the minute they land in like the airport and they all start slurring on me like so honestly, like those people who you go to like US and the UK, I'm telling you, like they've always been surprising me because like within a week or two, they have like learned like how to slur it. They're all slurring. And I have been here for like a year and nothing. I couldn't do shit. Like nothing. Nothing. And like honestly, my my way of speaking only came out as like only came about as of like convenience, you know? Because like that was the only way I could speak, so I wouldn't have to like repeat myself to people all over again and things like that. And like another thing that I had to change about myself was how I pronounced my own surname. Like, yeah. So just in case you didn't know, my full name is Vanessa Kosia Adubati Tichua. And for the sake of making it easier for like people to pronounce it, it just got like shortened to Venice Boache but in the german language there's nothing like ky there's no pronunciation like that so then they do not know how to pronounce that so when i go out and like um versus and i'm like what's your name and i go like uh benis Boachik. they're like bernice Boaki. i'm like uh bernice Boaki. so it gets on going on like bernice Boaki, Boaki, Boaki. So then I just decided to stick with it. So now when I go somewhere and they're like, uh, what is your name? I just say, Bernice, Bernice Boaki. And they're like, Bernice? And I'm like, Bernice. Like, that is, that is like one thing I'm very particular about when it comes to my first name. I'm actually very, very particular about that. That is the only thing that I like, the only thing about me that I don't allow anyone to change. So when I first came to the school and everyone is like, oh, Bernice, Bernice, Bernice. I was always like, please know it's Venice. Please know it's Venice. That is one thing that I actually stood on. I actually corrected. I know people be wondering like, why wouldn't I like correct them when it comes to like my surname, like Boache, but the first name I'm correcting them is because I believe my first name is me. Like 
Boache, Boakia, whatever they say, yeah, that is the family name, and that is not mentioned a lot. Like, not a lot of people call me by that, so like, it's okay. But those who do it a few times, like, say the Boaki, it's okay. Like, I really don't mind about that. But Bernice is something I get called regularly, and if every single time, like Bernice, Bernice, that sounds nice. So, Bernice sounds so nice, like Bernice Boache, that sounds so nice. But Bernice is not me, it doesn't sound like me. I don't look like a Bernice, you know. Like, Bernice sounds so ladylike, sounds so civilized, and I don't think that is me, you know. I'm someone who, like, I'm versatile. I like to be everything and everyone. So if you just put the name Bernice on me, I'll be forced to act all ladylike, and I'm sorry. 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 But that's not me. So please, if you're watching this and you still call me Bernice, <sighs> now you know. I prefer being called Bennis. Thank you very much. So another habit I picked up or another thing which I noticed about myself ever since I got here is how honestly I have been like drinking like crazy, crazy. You know how in like in like Africa or in Ghana, girls do drink, but then it's not something you can like do publicly or do talk about, like talk about it. Like, you can't you know so even if you drink it's like it's mostly for this like snapchat girls who just do it on snapchat and like you know you put there to like you're a bad girl top girl things like that you know like so that is like just like a social media snapchat thing but this is the case where since i go here like booze like every single party there's no party that i have been to what well, there is no alcohol if there's no alcohol then ain't no party even a party with just kids but just kids there's so much booze over there and the thing is like you can start drinking from the age of 14 so basically every single person i know drinks they drink they drink so imagine how surprised i was when i met a few people that don't drink i was actually very surprised i'm actually really really proud of them like, i'm actually really proud of them even like they've been able to go for all these like parties and not drink that is really good it means like all oh, this social pressure has not gotten to them unfortunately in that aspect i cannot relate because i joined the gang of the people who drink and more or less i cannot drink more than them <laughs> i mean it's not a good thing it's not a good thing and i have tried to stop i am stopping i will stop <laughs> well yeah but um i feel like that is one bad habit i picked up drinking and I am just so thankful for like the problem I have with my nose. So I have like a nose problem and I even have like a surgery on it and everything like that. Yeah, I know. I had a surgery on it. And due to like the complications or like my nose problem, I can't stand cigarettes or like anything you can smoke. Which is very unfortunate for me because I live in a country where it's like the highest rate of like teenage smokers. So a lot of people smoke in here. But the thing is, my nose can't stand it. So I know that is one thing I'll never ever do, like smoke or anything like that. Because my nose will just kill me. So yeah, I can't do that. But like, I know a lot of people who smoke cigarettes, weed, they smoke everything. But that is one thing I know I will not be doing anytime soon or anytime ever. What else did I pick up over here? So let me tell you, due to how free this country is, most of us walk around with not much care i could go out like at midnight and even be worried about something happening to me or anything like that but this is a problem because i plan on um coming to ghana sometime sometime soon and the problem is when i'm crossing the road over here i can be using my phone i can be like replying my messages while i was walking and i wouldn't be bothered about a car hitting me or something because like they would stop if the car was to hit me like their license gets taken they can't run away like someone will call the police yeah so like I know I am safe, I'm secured, even if I walk holding my phone or something like that, I know nothing's going to happen to me. Which is a lot to say for Ghana because I know if I do that, like something bad might happen to me. But then the problem is I'm so used to actually walking like that. Like I could even be walking on the street and be on a phone call, be walking on the street and be like replying my text messages and not even like I mean sometimes I do try to look left to right, but even if a cat was coming and there is like a um a zebra crossing right there. Even when the car coming out still cross because the car would stop before they get to me. But then I know this is not the case in Ghana because I grew up in Ghana. I know this is not the case. So this is something I am trying to like change. 
make changes to it. I mean, it's not really changing, yeah? But I'm trying to make changes to it before I get to Ghana so that at least I am conscious of the fact that this is Ghana. I could get hit by a car any time. Like, any time. Like, just kill me. Free, just like that. And my parents will miss me. Like, yeah, you get the point. You get the point. I think too is that, like, when when you're talking to an elderly person in Africa, I expected to say, like, madame mrs whatever a do whatever you call them by like their last their last name so a mrs or something like that but this is the case where i go visit a friend and the mom tells me to call her by her first name okay i see someone by the roadside i can just pass by i don't have to greet them good morning good afternoon like what we do in ghana and i am so so scared you know because people are going to say like i wasn't trained well or my parents are disrespectful Oh, this is my parents are disrespectful. Hey, Papa. Mm. Oh, I am disrespectful. Or my parents didn't train me well. If, for example, I see them and, like, I don't greet or something. But the thing is, like, I have gotten so used to it. You know, after so long, like, years and years of doing something, it just becomes part of what you do. I see people and I just walk by. Even if I know them, unless you're, like, someone I want to have a conversation with, most of the time I don't greet. I mean, my mom says I should stop doing that. I should greet people. But this is a case where when I greet you in this country, you don't reply. So, like... It even makes like the spirit of greeting, it takes it out of you. You don't want to greet, like, what's the point? Someone like me, I'll greet you, and then you just, yeah, I just don't greet anymore. I just walk by, I just walk by, like, with the first names. Like, that is something like I think it's it's so like deep rooted in my African blood that it's so hard for me to actually do. It is still like it's still a problem. I've been here years, as I said, but still, it's a problem because, like, Susan. I might call him my friend or my friend's mother. You know, it's like Susan, David. But then the problem is when you also call them and you're like, Uncle David, you're like, who's your uncle? <laughs> auntie Mary, who's your auntie? You know, just go like, Mary, it's weird. It is weird, but like, it is like a normal part of life. It's like, it's their thing. So it's something I am trying to learn. I am still learning. But then I find it like, one difficult thing I am finding right now is that I know it's going to be a problem for me when I go to like Africa or to Ghana and I have to now differentiate between like my lifestyle here and my lifestyle in Ghana because like they cannot mix. They cannot, the lifestyle I have here cannot mix with my lifestyle in Ghana because I feel like these are like two very different places. Over here I have so much freedom. You have so much freedom and that kind of freedom you have over here in Africa or in Ghana is considered disrespectful but over here it's just freedom so it's like wherever i move to i need to be conscious or aware of the fact that girl you're no longer in europe you're back to africa like like you better change it so that is something i hope to change before i come to ghana and i'm like i'm really really praying hard someone don't come and talk my parents just because like of the lifestyle i lived over here well that is all i have to say for today until my next video which is going to be a vlog yes i have told you about my next video it is going to be a vlog so watch out for it and if you do want to see my next video do not forget to click on the subscription button down below and also press the bell so you will be notified when the video comes out and hey if you haven't watched my old videos what are you waiting for go check them out and feel free to like and also comment on it i mean if you dislike it it's okay you can also dislike it on there i'm fine with that because like obviously there are obviously like lovers and haters out there so it's all good if you don't like the video feel free to dislike it but if you like it show some love for your girl by liking it thank you so much for watching until next time it's your girl Venice, aka bushy bambi